Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do getting the equations of cos graphs. Now what we have discussed is that the amplitude is important. You should know how to get the amplitude in order to solve graphs. Next, the starting point. Now the starting point for a cos graph is very interesting. The starting point of a cos graph is always the amplitude and zero. Now you must remember that if the graph is upside down, then remember we have a negative in front of the amplitude and the starting point in that sense would also be negative. Now let us look at the following graph. How would I get the amplitude? The highest point here is a half. Minus, minus, the lowest point is negative a half. So which means I've got 1 over 2, which means my amplitude is 1 over 2. But notice this graph is upside down. So if I have my equation y is equal to a cos theta plus q, then we have minus a half. Why? Because it's upside down. A standard cos graph runs this way. This one is upside down cos theta. Now, what is my Q? The Q is always the amplitude and zero. So in this case, because it's upside down, it's minus A and zero. So it should be on minus a half and zero. It's starting on minus a half and zero, which means it didn't move. So my final answer is Y is equal to minus a half cos theta plus zero. Thank you for watching.